What up, what up? Wimbush here, and I wanted to share this free plugin that I just came across called Fast Boca for After Effects, and it's from the guys at Robite. I believe they made Plexus, and um, yeah, if you come to their website here, you go to robite.com slash fastboca, and if you scroll down through here, they actually have a couple examples of what this does. Oh yeah, so what this is, is basically a, um, a lens camera blur for After Effects. And so we know that After Effects comes with a, can, a camera lens blur. You can see this is what their test is showing. It looks like an After Effects. And then this is what's showing a third party plugin, the, um, the fish lens one. And then this is what Fast Bokeh looks like. And so there's just kind of like this three way comparison that they set up there on the website. So make sure you go to the website to check that out. Or if you want to see for yourself, you just kind of scroll down to the bottom here and you can download it for absolutely free. And so I did a little test of my own and I want to show you guys what I came up with. So I have After Effects open up here and I have this map that I made in Dim Earth in Cinema 4D. Just something quick I threw together real quick. I threw some levels on there. I have um, Red Giant looks on here. And then I have my depth pass that I have rendered out of Cinema 4D here. And if I scroll this up, actually let me scroll this down and so i put it inside of a pre-comp just real quick so this is what it looks like naturally i added the levels to it just to kind of extend the blacks off into the distance a little bit more then i put a fast blur on it just to kind of blend it in and so if i come to my composition that i have built here if i right click and come down to adjustment layers let's drag this on top and I'm going to just name this one lens for no particular reason. But if I come over to my effects and presets, I come down and look for a robite. Where are we at? There we go. Robite. You have a plugin here called Fast Bokeh. Bring this in. Go to my depth map layer. And then I'm going to put my pre-comp that I made in there. And then I'm going to jack this radius blur all the way up just so we can kind of see what it's doing here. And so we can see that it's working off of my my depth pass there. And you'll want to play with the focal distance to kind of get the results that you want. So if I come all the way down to zero, we can see that everything in the foreground is in focus and everything in the background is out of focus. And then if we do the reverse, we go up to one. You know, everything in the foreground is out of focus. Everything in the background is in focus. And then you have this option here to invert the depth map. So same thing, everything back here is out of focus. And then if I bring this down to zero, it's gonna bring everything in focus. So it's more about just what you're looking for, or what you're going for. So this is just a quick and dirty way of running my own test. I mean, that, that Z depth map that I created right here wasn't the greatest to begin with, but you get the idea of how powerful this free plugin is. You don't have a lot of attributes like you might have in other third party plugins, but for free, I mean, you can't really complain. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. As always, if I come across more cool free stuff, I'll put it in my YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe below and I'll see you on the next video. Take care, keep creating.